Welcome back everybody to the daily show where we discuss and do technical analysis for big mega cap stocks. So show your support by hitting that thumbs up button and that is greatly appreciated and if you are new here consider subscribing and that means a lot to me. Now if you want to get my daily trade ideas, my swing trade ideas, my analysis in 3 days of live trading definitely check out the Patreon and that link will be down below in the description. And now let's get right into it guys. On Apple stock it's up 1.55% on a massive Bank of America upgrade. And you can see, I mean, this is just insane level of pump here in this market guys, especially magnificent six stock. I would not say seven because Tesla definitely not participating in that rally. And uh, this is just next level. You can see, and that was on Wednesday. It was down to 180 again. Now look at this pump. So this is actually a total manipulation in the market. Somebody, you know, knows something that it would come down here, trap a lot of bears, and then we get that upgrade and it's gone. Within just a matter of two days, from 190, or actually 180, low for the day or close to it now trading at 192 we fill that entire gap up on friday and now it's holding 190 as a support so going into next week if this thing can actually hold 190 then watch out for a move all the way up to 195 and above that definitely another fresh new all-time high which could be 200 or 202 on apple now on a pullback, we do have strong support now right here at 190 and just below that we also have 20 day moving average 188 and then we have support down here also 186.48, 185 right here, 13 day moving average and then we can possibly talk about this gap down here just below 183. We also have earnings coming next month so Apple could be catching up to Microsoft and if that happens you're going to see fresh new all-time highs on Apple stock as well. On Netflix is down half a percent nothing big but look at this hammer candle we got on Netflix are we going to see a continuation to the upside also I'm going to show you guys we got big earnings coming this week especially with Netflix and that is on Tuesday and we got this hammer candle and if this thing pops watch out for a move above 485 netflix can go all the way up to 500 to 506 and with earnings i mean this thing can move 40 50 100 bucks that is possible so you know i would not suggest playing earnings but you cannot ignore the fact that we got a hammer candle on friday and we could see a lot more upside if this actually plays out you know if this thing breaks above 485 now on a pullback with bad earnings definitely you want to watch the support down here 468 and below that we got this massive gap 455.50 we also have support down here at 450 and here's my x account and if you're on there definitely give me a follow and i do post a lot of things right here on x and uh, there is no subscription or anything you got to go through it's totally free now a lot of people asking do I trade shares or just options of course I do shares and uh, here's a play I want to share with you guys right here people are running for the door they don't want to buy Spirit Airline and we all know that how long this airline in the business I bought the dip guess what Friday this thing is already trading at almost eight bucks still holding 500 shares and this was a very nice play just holding two days 17th you can see right here and yesterday was 19th and this thing was up so if you have the money and you can trade shares only that is the best way to make money here in the market options are always risky uh, I think I have one more look at this one here same thing airline or uh, you know Boeing that makes you know all these planes you can see Boeing right here on 16th I bought shares and now it's trading at 215 so shares only two trades you don't need a lot of trade this week easily 
three, four grand. Just holding shares two, three days. Yeah, you know, if things come down, you know, uh, if they're not bouncing, of course I'll hold. But just to give you an idea how easy that is when you actually trade shares and you buy big names like Boeing. So all these trade ideas, shares, options, my analysis, all that is available on Patreon. And the best thing you can do, you can support the channel by joining Patreon. So if you're interested, you know, that link will be down below in the description, guys. On Amazon stock, it's up 1.20% and Amazon also pushing and breaking above 155 again. So Amazon can actually hold right here. You're going to see a push all the way up to 158 to 160 and that's going to be the next stop on Amazon. Now also keep that in mind, Amazon getting rejected right here multiple times at 155. If there is a rejection going into next week, especially going into tomorrow, then watch out for the support down here, 153.67, five day moving average, and below that, 20 day moving average, 152, and then 150, we also have support down here, 148.43, and then 146. Amazon definitely looking bullish, and if this thing actually gets that breakout above 155, we can easily see 160 on Amazon. So quickly, I want to show you guys this. And if you want to take a screenshot, go ahead and do that right here. We got some big names coming out with earnings. Names like Netflix, Tesla, AT&T, ASML, IBM, Intel, Visa, 3M, and Verizon. And also, here's another big name, um, uh, JNJ and RTX. So a lot of big names are reporting earnings next week. So be careful, especially if you're playing earnings next week, guys. On Google stock, it's up 2%. And the new trend here in this market, especially for mega caps, gap up and go. You don't see gap down and go. I mean, what was the reason for this gap up here? We can just normally run all the way up to 148, right? But we got a gap up from 145.59. And now hitting my target 148 exactly and almost breaking out above 148. So going into tomorrow's session, you want to watch 148 resistant here on Google. And only if there is a pullback, you want to watch right here, this gap 145 as a support. And this is going to be a strong support now since we got that breakout. And below 145, if this support actually breaks, then watch out for a move all the way down to 142. But looks like this is a clear breakout on Google. And if this thing actually uh, holds above 145 after filling this gap and we get that breakout above 145, 148 right here, there is going to be more upside up to 152. On Meta, it's up almost 2% and I've been calling for this move for the last maybe three weeks that Meta can go up to previous all-time highs or possibly can hit a fresh new all-time high. And look at this insane move. I mean, this is how we do things here in this market. Like I said, especially for mega caps, we got a gap up here. Again, on Friday, we gapped up and got up to 384, retesting previous all-time highs. We also have earnings coming next month. So here on Meta, if we get a pullback, and if you're lucky to see a pullback, watch out, Meta might be coming down to close this gap right here, just under 377. And that's going to be a support also. And then below that, watch out for a move down to this gap, 368.54. And these are going to be the only levels to watch next week if we get a pullback. But just like Google, if this thing actually breaks out above 384, guess what? This thing will run even more. Just like Nvidia, you're going to see 390 on Meta. On Microsoft, it's up over 1% and almost hitting my target 400 and pretty much closing at a fresh new all-time high, 398.67. And that is just next level, guys. I mean, look at all these gap ups right here and it just gap up and go. I mean, yes, you know, things are bullish, but this is not the way market goes up. And this is not the way how things should be going up. I mean, yes, if there is a catalyst, 
big catalyst beating the earnings. I can understand that, you know, things will gap up. But on a normal day, you can see massive gap up to the upside. And that is just insane. I mean, these gaps were not enough right here. We gapped up twice and now hitting another fresh new all time high on Friday and closing at a new all time high. So going into tomorrow's session, if there is a pullback, you want to watch right here, I would say 394 right here. That's going to be a support. And then this gap 390 only below 390. Watch out for 384. But if this thing pushes and breaks above 400, then watch out for the next stop. 405 on Microsoft and things are getting really frothy and overextended on Microsoft. So I would think that at some point you're going to see a pullback here on the stock. So the AI mania is running wild and you can see AMD up over 7% and why absolutely no reason. And you can see it's getting far too overextended to the upside. Upper Bollinger Band sitting at 167 and the stock itself trading at 176 right now. And also the RSI getting really burnt. It's getting really overextended to the upside. Now, are we going to see a pullback? And if there is a pullback, where things can come down to? Definitely that previous all time highs. And that would be around 164 to 165. On a pullback, you want to watch this support right here. Below that, now, AMD will also have supported 160, rising 5-day moving average, and then 155 all the way down to this gap, just below 149. But if this move actually continues, then watch out, we might be going all the way up to 184 on AMD. On Tesla stock, absolutely flat on the day, and on Friday, you can see, got a bounce off of this lower Bollinger Band, hitting 207, and then we got a big bounce on some volume on Friday and now luckily holding 212 as a support into closing. We also have earnings from Tesla next week. So this is something to watch. If this is actually the bottom on Tesla and they come out with some good earnings, then yes, we could see a bounce back up to the upside. Now going into tomorrow's session as a support 212, that's going to be a big level to watch. And below that 206.44 lower Bollinger Band, and then 200. We get a bounce off of this support, 212. Now, it needs to get above 215.68, five-day moving average, and above that, we could see Tesla coming all the way back up to 225.37 to close this gap on top, and then we can talk about more upside on Tesla. On NVIDIA stock, it's at 4%, and if you put this range right here from 400 up to 500, you put that range after this breakout on top, you'll get a price target, and that is 600, and this thing almost hitting 600 on Friday. So early as tomorrow morning, we could see NVIDIA going up to 600, and that's going to be a big resistance to watch on NVIDIA stock. Now also... NVIDIA stock and AMD getting far too overextended to the upside, there might be a pullback. And if there is a pullback, you want to watch the support down here, 567, right here at 553, 546, and then 532. So NVIDIA, I see a lot of people on uh, Twitter or X uh, posting now, you know, they think that NVIDIA going up to 700. The only thing I can say, guys, chasing is not the way to go. You cannot chase something that was trading at 108 about a year ago and now trading at 600. And if you're buying right, right up here, well, you know, nobody can help you here in this market. You're chasing pretty much at the top. I would not even buy this stock at uh, 500. And I said it before so many times, maybe if this thing gets down to this gap, at some point, that could be a dip buying opportunity, but not here. And uh, who knows, they might be coming out with a split pretty soon because this thing is going to need a split again. Now that it's trading at 600. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated going into tomorrow.